Hi everybody, my name is uh, Federico Porceddu. Uh, nice to meet you everybody. Uh, I'm a senior developer in uh, Avanad Italy, actually I'm based in uh, Cagliari and Sardinia at the Avanad Advanced Technology Center. Um, you, here you can find my, my contacts if you want to talk with me. Let's start. Um, today I'll show you an SPFX web port uh, a user uh, uses to show directly on the site the hierarchy of channels and tabs on uh, of the team connected to the SharePoint modern team site. Mm, let's see together general needs. Um, general needs is to enable people to access Teams tab without necessarily having to open uh, Microsoft, Microsoft Teams uh, app or a web application. Uh, they were, uh, therefore, saving the step of having to find uh, the team and desired channel. Uh, the result uh, is a, a first track to, towards the Teams tabs, uh, so um, access is having quickly. Uh, sure, this sample is more interesting from a learning and study point of view uh, because I wanted to learn more and understand the power of PMP GS, uh, Fabric UI integration with Microsoft Graph, obviously, in a client side solution. But um, it, could, it could also be used uh, to offer an alternative browsing experience uh, that integrates the model team sites and Microsoft Teams. Uh, let's see what the expected result should be. Uh, is uh, obviously landing uh, into the page. Uh, the web page will show the list of channel of the monitoring site, uh, link uh, teams, and nested inside channel list, you will find uh, tabs link. Uh, one of interesting side of this sample is that the web page contextualizes itself on the current site, uh, going to retrieve uh, information through the Microsoft Graph, uh, Graph API. What about feature in uh, this sample? Um, the web part is straight following concept uh, on top um, of a shopping framework. Uh, for instance, uh, the use of a PMP uh, graph teams um, uh, package, uh, how to configure point online tenant and, SPF and SPFX solution uh, to allow Microsoft graph call. Uh, course, and finally, the Fabric UI and a component that is uh, simple and nice uh, to use. Um, this is a, a short deep dive in uh, how our model team sites are connected to um, uh, Microsoft Teams. Uh, there is basically a property back named uh, Group D inside uh, SharePoint team site. Um, you can easily verify uh, using a client SharePoint object model, PowerShell, or SharePoint online client browser. Uh, so, um, what is Group ID? Group ID is the unique ID of the Outlook 365 group associated to the SharePoint modem team sites, and it also represents the Microsoft Teams ID. We will use it um, to, to make our calls to Microsoft Graph and retrieve all information uh, we need. Okay, what about the solution? We already say that the web part contextualizes itself on the current team, uh, but what about Microsoft Graph API? Um, course, they are wrapped from uh, the PMP package, um, the PMPJS uh, package, because internally they use two specific calls to Graph. Get all channel from, uh, from a team using group ID, this one, and get all tabs uh, from a channel. Okay, obviously uh, we need a previous call. Um, obviously, before I've been able to, to make this calls to Microsoft Graph from Super Framework, it's necessary to uh, assign the correct permission in API management section of SharePoint Online Administration Portal. In our case, we need to add uh, two scopes uh, to scope, uh, group read all or group read write all. Uh, um, Let's see web port in action. Okay. This be good. Here we are. So we can start from uh, a team, the Contoso Finance uh, team. Um, there are a lot of uh, channel, uh, and for every channel, there are some tabs with uh, like Wiki, Budget Planning Tool is a link, or um, all tab you want to add in uh, your channel. Uh, the web port 
is this one I can add from uh, a page and start search my web part teams. This one. Okay, perfect. Let's so publish. Perfect. So as you can see, I uh, this is the Contos on Finance website. Uh, SharePoint uh, site link to the contours of finance uh, Microsoft Teams and um, this web port retrieve all channel include the general obviously and for every channel there is the count of the um, the tabs uh, that are um, linked to this uh, particular um, channel. Uh, is a really simple and easy, but when uh, you click in, um, in one of the this link, for instance, uh, fiscal year budget, okay. So there is a navigation, and you can open directly uh, without uh, waiting, uh, without search inside um, the, the teams. Okay, here you can find um, a small number of teams, but uh, in a real uh, scenario. Uh, we know uh, who, who use uh, Teams. There are a lot of Teams, a lot uh, of channel, and a lot of team tabs. So, if you are uh, working on uh, this uh, you know, website, uh, it's, it could be uh, useful to uh, have this link directly from uh, the, this web port. Um, let's get uh, let's get ads in uh, in the code. This is the web part. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, let's start from um, generic helper. I realize using uh, PMPGS. Uh, there is um, this missile get group ID uh, that get all properties, so property back, um, and a retrieve group ID uh, property. Uh, there are also two methods get channels and uh, get tabs from channels that use internally uh, graph teams uh, get by ID and channels get, or graph uh, teams get by ID, uh, channels get by ID that retrieve all tabs from a uh, channel. I love PMPGS because it's pretty easy and clean, uh, make calls uh, with all the power of React and, and TypeScript. Uh, so this is the helper and I use this helper Obviously, in the component, this one uh, of the web part. Component is really simple. This is a generic message. And the nav, I use just the group's uh, property and uh, set the state. And in the component, the mount event or uh, my, my component, uh, I start to make a recursive call in order to get all channels. Uh, first of all, the group ID, sorry, I can uh, retire my, my group ID, all channels, and obviously all tabs from uh, each channels. Uh, then I push inside an, uh, an array, and uh, the um, Fabric UI component uh, nav uh, use uh, this property. So if for a first level link, I use only uh, key and, um, oh, sorry, only, only name, and uh, links are a generic uh, array. And for internal link, so tabs, use a key name and the URL, and obviously the, the target. About the count, this is just a uh, count of the uh, length of, of, of the array. Another uh, if, mm, trick that I use in this web part is to sort uh, in a different way um, because uh, the, the graph API returned to me a result with a different sorting um, compared to the uh, graph, uh, uh, sorry, to the team's gener um, generic order. So the general is always the first, uh, um, the first uh, channel, and then all the channel uh, are in uh, in uh, alphabetic order. So what I did is uh, just uh, make a custom sorter, and uh, I manage the general tab. But pay attention, this is uh, different uh, from every language. Uh, what about permission? This is in the package solution. Um, okay, we have a permission. I just specify the resource is microsoft graph, and the scope group 
read write all. Uh, so with this setting, I, uh, when I deploy my web port, I can go to the um, SharePoint online admin center and in the API management, I need to uh, trust. So approve or uh, reject the permission, a case approve. Um, in order to uh, make this uh, call and uh, trust correctly, uh, Graph API and make calls from my SharePoint uh, framework web port. Uh, so uh, from a side is, uh, is all. Thank you a lot for, uh, for your attention. Okay. Great demo. Uh, exciting to see that. I think, yeah, maybe you have a few questions there in the window.